Good morning and welcome to worship for Sunday the 14th of May. This Sunday we are marking Christian Aid Week. Clap your hands all you people. Shout to God with songs of joy. God has gone up with a shout so sing praises to the Most High. God is ruler over all the earth. We worship God with all our heart. Let's worship him together. Let us pray. Creator God, you have planted the seed of love in our hearts, in our souls, in our lives. We long for the brightness of your presence, drawing ever closer to you and to one another. And as we join with your people at all times, in all places, to worship and serve, we confess those frequent times when we have been stony ground, too hard to see beyond, too hard to value the tiny seed, the generous smile, the heartfelt word. We confess to those frequent times when we've been stony ground, too hard to see beyond our selfish desires and for tacitly accepting a world that smothers the dreams of those who live with less power and wealth. Creator God, once again, you have planted the seed of love in our hearts, in our souls, in our lives. We draw near today in the knowledge that your forgiveness waters the seed and nurtures us with the power of your spirit to grow and to flourish and to bear the fruit of your justice now and forever. Amen. Malawi is in the southeast of Africa. It's a country with which the Church of Scotland has long and well established connections. The people are so friendly that Malawi is sometimes called the heart of Africa. It is a beautiful country of cooler mountains in the north, the shimmering waters of Lake Malawi in the east and sun-drenched lowlands in, to the south. But in Malawi, the costs of everyday essentials such as food and fuel are going up and up just as they are here. In addition, the climate crisis means it's increasingly difficult to grow many of the foods Esther and her family used to eat and sell. 
Often crops are lost to cyclones or droughts or seeds are too old to grow well. Many farmers are exploited by big companies and they don't receive a fair price for their peas. Welcome to Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. Stay tuned for your Christian Aid Week broadcast. Rising food and energy prices are impacting millions across the world. Economists point to COVID, the war in Ukraine and poor harvests as the cause. And now, a short ad break. Bread prices up by 50% in just three months? Our tasty locally produced rolls could be the solution. Esther is here to serve you delicious rolls straight from her cooperative's oven. No need to travel, our team will come to you. Esther's rolls are baked using flour made from locally grown pigeon peas. So there's no expensive fuel related costs to hike up the price. And no need for costly imported wheat. Thanks to Pigeon Peas' awesome drought-resistant properties, everyone can enjoy them when other crops fail. But hurry, Esther's rolls are selling like hotcakes. They are loved by adults and children alike. Esther's little grandson, Nespo, can't get enough. Your family will love them too. Hear the word of God. First of all, as it's found in the book of the prophet Joel. Joel chapter 1, verses 10 to 12, and then chapter 2, verses 18 to 29. The fields are ruined. The ground is dried up. The grain is destroyed. The new wine is dried up and the olive oil fails. Despair, you farmers. Wail, you vine growers. Grieve for the wheat and the barley because the harvest of the field is destroyed. The vine is dried up and the fig tree is withered, the pomegranate, the palm and the apple tree, all the trees of the field are dried up. Surely the people's joy is withered away. Then the Lord was zealous, jealous for his land and took pity on his people. The Lord replied to them, I am sending you grain, new wine and olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations. I will drive the northern horde far from you, pushing it into a parched and barren land. Its eastern ranks will drown in the Dead Sea and its western ranks in the Mediterranean Sea, and its stench will go up, its smell will rise. Surely he has done great things. Do not be afraid, land of Judah. Be glad and rejoice. Surely the Lord has done great things. Do not be afraid, you wild animals, for the pastures in the wilderness are becoming green. The trees are bearing their fruit. The fig tree and the vine yield their riches. Be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord, for he has given you the autumn rains because he is faithful. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains, as before. The threshing floors will be filled with grain. The vats will overflow with new wine and new oil. I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten, the great locust and the young locust, the other locusts and the locust swarm, my great army that is sent among you. You will have plenty to eat until you're full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God who's worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Then you will know that I am Israel, that I am the Lord your God and that there's no other. Never again will my people be shamed. And afterwards I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in these days. And then from Matthew's Gospel, Matthew chapter 13, the first eight verses 
and in verses 31 and 32. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat in it, while all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it didn't have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up and the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root, other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it's the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree. So the birds come and perch in its branches. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Now let's hear from Esther in her own words. Next on Christian Aid Week TV, it's Esther's story. Ine abambo Adam Galira, chaka shata. Zina ndirengira po masiku, angabo nditu kuti ndirimbe. Mugamuzi would win a gashoga, Timo Macala or Sweka. John Joe Sidima Tatsiu as an abelian mutu, or the Vampira Banyababan. Or Rakum Pingo Mini Amata Gueda Uzabanga Mavimpiro, Banyumbabano, Molmogin and the end in the Peter Kucharish. Did you so much your Kaja and Bui Emwe and Amazerit and Fabus or Tobimo? Come as Nadis into Zombe Sakison, he was old and old. Lolanda Ulis. Come on. She didn't be kids so much chas in Zanga, my neighbors. I got your cock wear at Zikes up and as a gambang can is all sega, showing that you could in a cocomo ranga, who she have. The one thing, dear now, weedy, at Scano Kawok. This is who's weedy, Tanya Mada to Karok. Minama de Sia Kakashaka. Mao marries an antisilon in a woody Anna with a Maria. Chief Kwan and Gasinda join a project, Osa Kalisa, among Kumatsia. Marent nineteen at a well and under farmers association, and could is in the Giriza would go to Mogolas and beat. Kuna Mibako Paletti, who also can send and do, Pamozi, could have good in way. Cash me to Banga business here, beggar. Yomwan and Rofama's association with Zera who kiss and yeddy, and at the Gurira Ovoni. No made to go pigger, my banzi, Osagan is a do for one and do, the one for our own. Oh, the indizizugu is weak. Miss Pon, ye manuel. The fun and do a lady, no more was she kissed. Placiana Minuawa, a bit of school. Mwadi kena ka nisipoyo. Alivana za ligari. Ineana amene watu wakamabwela kwa hini kuzajeza. Muntima mwanga muntima mfabu ni muntima zijita kutindi ni wakuru. Ine nzuku luwanga, nima mnyadila kwa mpiri. Ankafuna zipangizo za ukaripentala. Po kwa nilisa mchili inga nisocha kishimene analista ndefefe kumana wili ni kumana takala kalipenta, takala kalipenta. Ndeni maso nkanisila chida chimozi, 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 chimozi. Ndeyo mali zira, kishimene na gula mwurente, yani mwurente na hintene. Ndeta guli sama nandolo, ama ngodi gula mavenda, mwuguba nandolo. Mwodi mapindwe nini, sama one kai. Po mweva nopo, mwayu kukala apu, chifuwa, Nenedi, Alibu. 
na ndiro fama za association kudzira kukesha nedi ndrama zina zinagwira nchito zina za kumunda kugulira fedeleza kugira kumene koko kumene kukanga ti kukufika bei kumatu wona ngati kuti ndi fantu ochita bwino kana ngani yake ndinandi Give today and help more families have a better future. Visit caweek.org. Okay, everybody. And that's a wrap. And next, we hear of Jane. Jane and her husband have two acres of pigeon peas, but they're struggling with the effects of the climate change. The rainfall is unreliable, and there are more storms and flooding and stronger winds. The pigeon pea is a tough plant, uh, able to withstand a lot, just like Jane. But to make the most of her crop, Jen needs to plant good quality seeds and sell for the best price possible, and not to unscrupulous middlemen. Her oldest two boys have gained tertiary education places, which is very rare for young people from her rural area. One has a place at a prestigious polytechnic and one at a well-known college. It's even on one of Malawi's banknotes. Jen works hard to provide for her children, but she can barely scratch a living from the soil. Soaring costs of food and fuel, fertiliser, school uniforms, school fees are crushing dreams and keeping her family in poverty. And now John, Jen has had to make a choice. No mum should be forced to make this kind of choice because rising costs mean Jen can only pay for one of her son's college courses. She desperately needs to earn more so that her oldest son, Matthew, can study as well. His place at a prestigious college is reserved for a year, so Jen remains hopeful that he'll be able to start his college course. The erratic weather is affecting Jen's profits. She says the result is that our harvest is very little but Jen remains resilient. She says, we say, let's work hard so that the money will help the children go to school. Esther and Jen are working with Christian Aid and others in their community. Together, they have formed cooperatives to secure fairer prices, boosted the quality of the seeds they use added value by baking and selling bread made from pea flour, built warehouses to keep peas safe from weather events, and even produced a pigeon pea recipe book. Esther says, we're a community that helps one another a lot. If people face a problem, we don't allow them to suffer alone. For Esther and Jen and their community, pigeon peas are like the tiny mustard seed growing the hopes and dreams of their children and grandchildren to go to school, to start their own businesses, to help their friends and their neighbours. <laughs>
On the 11th of March, 2023, Cyclone Freddy slammed into the southern into southern Africa for the second time in a month, and its return was deadly. It was destructive. In Malawi, a year's worth of rain fell during the weeks of the cyclone. The heavy rains, the floods and landslides caused widespread damage, especially in Blantyre and the southern region. The number of people affected in Malawi continues to rise, with more than a thousand deaths. Cyclone Freddy is currently Africa's second deadliest cyclone this century after Cyclone Idai. It's the longest lasting tropical cyclone ever recorded, lasting 34 days, and it had the strength of the equivalent of a full North American, uh, North Atlantic hurricane season. Christian Aid in Malawi responded rapidly to provide extra food for breastfeeding mothers and children under five, mosquito nets to protect against malaria, temporary toilets and bathrooms, water containers and water purification treatment to help prevent cholera and other waterborne diseases, mobile clinics to help people process the emotional trauma of the cyclone, and cash distributions. Jen and Esther are safe, but Jen's house is damaged and she has lost her crops. Bloods have washed away crops during the critical growing season and there's a looming hunger crisis because many households will have insufficient or no crops to harvest. Jen says it's impacted farming with flooding washing away some of our fields. Farmers like me have lost pigeon peas and maize on the small pieces that have been washed away. All three districts targeted for the next phase of the pigeon pea work have been affected. But the pigeon pea programme will continue. Christian Aid Malawi will focus on strengthening farming groups, including the Nandola Farmers Association. Your support this Christian Aid Week is more vital than ever. The fundraising supported by churches, communities and individuals every May allows Christian Aid to provide relief when disasters hit. Through you, Christian Aid will be there long after the flood waters recede, helping families rebuild. Your gifts this May will continue to support the Pigeon Pea Project and other vital work. Thank you. God our farmer, you plant the seed, you water the seed, you nourish the seed. You value the widow's might, you value Esther's peas. You value what we bring today. What we bring today is already yours, but accept these our offerings and use them to help dreams come true in this community, through this church and in your world through Christian aid. Amen.
Let us pray. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. God who gives refuge to the distressed, we pray to you for the people of Malawi. Courageous and determined, they've worked to secure their future and the future of the next generation. Now so much that they have grown and nurtured has been swept away. O oh God, our comforter, be with those who have suffered trauma. Give strength to those who feel they cannot go on. Console those who grieve and who fear for themselves and their families. We pray for the immediate relief of people in danger as they seek shelter and try to replenish essential supplies. We pray for the recovery of crops and livelihoods. We pray for the affected communities that, that they will soon be able to rebuild and see new growth emerging from the flooded ground. God of justice, you call on us to act against poverty and inequality. May we amplify the voices of those who are feeling the effects of climate change. Year after year, the waters roar and foam as the crisis, crisis, climate crisis deepens. Righteous God, move us to action that we may repair the damage done to our world and commit to challenging the unjust structures that put the people of Malawi and so many other parts of the world at risk. Amen.
Now go in peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest upon and remain with you now and always.